Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again, and as you can see, I'm putting the motor bracket onto the back of the bicycle. It's pretty straightforward. It's just got an upper and lower bracket. I had to remove the ammo box on this side, but I'll figure out another way to put the battery on the bike. But you have the upper and lowers, and they just clamp right on with a 10 millimeter. And then down here on the axle, you have a uh, adjustable part of the bracket, so you can loosen those upper bracket, upper and lower brackets and slide it back and forth to tension the chain. So you can see I only have one sprocket on this right now. I'm going to go out and get the other sprocket, but right now this will uh, work for a test. We can also see how much power the motor is just going to have by itself. Now the hardest part of this project is going to be getting the two sprockets lined up, the one on the gearbox and the one on the bike wheel itself. Uh, the bracket for the bike motor is not going to move around that much, but you can use the rear axle and loosen it up and kind of put it at an angle to make a chain track straight. I turned the rim just a little bit and I got the chain here to track a lot straighter. But that's all I have for you this time. In the next video, we're going to do the electrical. So until next time, build stuff. Have fun, have a good holiday season, and we'll get back at this very soon.